Legend of Total War here with part 105 of my Europa Barbarorum Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. Previously, um, not much happened, it was a short episode because I was worried we were going to get a crash as we did this. Um, but it's just, um, we're in a real sort of, not stalemate, but stalemate, but it's a bit of a grind at the moment because a lot of our settlements, we've, we've been expanding very quickly and a lot of the settlements aren't really ready to be a financial hub. So, every time I conquer a settlement, you know, you've got to invest a lot of money into a region before it actually starts becoming worth it. So we've got a lot of regions that aren't really worth it right now, and we're trying to expand even further. So, I don't know. Oh, f motherfucker. You're bloody sick, are you? You piece of shit. It's tired. Which is still this battle anyway. It will use up a lot of our movement points, but not all of it. There's no way that army's going to come out to play. Attack! I hope it doesn't crash. That's the whole reason why I ended the video early. Because we already had a crash on this exact same battlefield. And I hate wasting time. If I'm going to wait, if it's if it's going to crash, I hope. For Hope for it to be at the beginning of an episode, not the end. How many of us who look up okay, so we pretty much have no chance of losing this because their reinforcements aren't going to show up. Now they're going to get some reinforcements coming in from over here, but I'm not really concerned about them. me a crash. Oh, they're not even going to show up at all. Well, alright. I would have thought the other army was going to show up, but it doesn't matter if they don't. Alright, um, is there any other way we can cross? Yes. Right here. Because if possible, I'd like to just have a skirmish. No, we can't do that. If I want other armies to show up, all you need to do, I suppose, is, is have some of them withdraw. But I don't want them to show up. I want to get to Massalia, and these guys are blocking me. Where the fuck are you going? No, you're not allowed to cross there. I get so sick of this music as well. Like, I know some people say, EB music is the best out of all of them. No, I fucking disagree. I find it to be just a, a little bit too plain for my taste. And then, of course, some people say, well, why don't you change the music then? Well, if I'm going to play the mod, you know, might as well play everything that comes with it. It's the whole reason why when I play Rome 2, I don't go revert back to Rome 1 music. Because if I want to listen to Rome 1 music, I'll fucking play Rome 1. I do play Rome 1. Okay, so this really shouldn't be difficult. I should probably tell them not to fire at will because they, they tend to not risk skirmish very well like this. Okay, don't, don't get loose formation, get in tight formation. Actually, you know what? I will put them on fire at will. Move it. Good, they're already winded. This shouldn't take too much longer. They're too slow, they'll never catch me. Said they'll never catch me and oh, fucking idiots shooting each other. Oh well, one casualty is not too bad.
Okay, hopefully that'll move... Uh, well, allow us to get to Massalia. Hopefully we can besiege it. Which, that will be a fucking pain in the ass in on itself to take with that many uh, troops in there. Hopefully if we besiege it, they actually send a force to... Oh, it won't work though, because there's so many men in there, they'll never show up to the fight. Okay, these guys are standing right outside the city, but it's not worth actually engaging with them. We're best off just going head on into the settlement. That might draw this guy back. It might not. They'll probably they'll probably try to attack me, but I'm not fussed either way. It's a river crossing battle as well. Should be good. Okay, so one of these guys can be used to govern Araminum for the time being. You do it. And then I'll send all but one of these to Benonia, I guess, just for now. Oh shit, that was too many. Uh-oh, fucked it a little bit there. Can you look after them instead? The army. Forward. Orders. My Lord. Move out. He's a little bit... No, that'll be just My under Lord. control with that. Ooh, that was a bit silly, but whatever. Alright, what else is there to do this turn? I don't think there's much. Ready. Okay, these guys need to go home. Ready. Yes, Captain. Ready. Yes, sir. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Nice quiet end turn there. Guess it's for the best. Oh, why didn't I bloody put this guy in a fort? Okay, we've got some noble lives, uh, noble fuckers dead. Someone of Benonia died. Oh, that was our old dude, but still Benonia's under control, so it's alright. Who else died? Some guy at Tarsus. No one's going to care about that, it's fine. I'm glad I brought these other governors over. 80,000 to spend, that's pretty good. We're really making that much per turn? Yep, just about. Okay, well they've really brought a lot of guys over here to Massalia. So let's have a look at the Romans' uh, stats. So militarily, they've been falling. Diplomatically, are they still... So they've got an ally with um, Armenia and Getai. They're still at war with the Swabians, but I don't think the Swabians are really pressing too hard on them. So this battle here, what a grind it's going to be. So many of them. But we just need to get on and get it done. Quit whinging and just do it. The thing is, taking the settlement off them, um, for one thing, will provide us with a little bit of money. Finally take another settlement as well. And um, yeah, just deny them another region from which they can recruit from. Just cementing their eventual defeat. So, we'll pause the recording in a moment, and I'll just go through the motions. That I'm going to capture all the um, all the towers, which is going to be a bit of a grind, and probably you know shoot them. Where's the town square? I won't be able to shoot them all from there. But then, then again, it's probably just going to come down to a huge bloody brawl. 
hopefully a pike formation. Um, there's no, th that spot there seems to be the best for it. Alright, th you three, come around this way, let's look for a good spot over here. That spot there is probably ideal. Alright, you, you get in there. And you get... Oh, that's not ideal now. Okay, so I'll just pause the recording now, go through the motions. Probably like half an hour before I come back. Um, to fight the rest of the battle. There's a lot of guys up on the walls. But we'll just, we'll just figure something out. Alright, so quite a bit of maneuvering's going on. You can see the balance of power has moved considerably in my favour. It's largely due to, um, as we've been running around, any opportunity I could to shoot some battalions, I took it. So we've used up two full ammunitions of some of our units. Still got plenty, but it's a matter of, you know, being able to catch them. So what I've got here... I need to get more of my guys around over this way. Where's this guy? Oh, he's ages away. Okay, so... They've got a heap of guys out on the walls. It would be best for us if we could if we could cut them off from the town square. Now there's still a few towers under their control obviously, we can't get to them all. Okay, just get close. I'm sure once we start getting... going close towards the town square, these guys will come down off the wall. more guys incoming. We've probably wiped out maybe three or four battalions so far. Well, it's been a third of their army. Huge army these guys had. A huge crappy army. Going to try and avoid this general area here because that tower's not under our control. If I go even close to this area here, they'll chase after us. Need your help to shoot them. As you can see, it absolutely wrecks them from up here. So it will take a little bit of damage, but it shouldn't be too severe. Plus, like one man, it's alright. soon. Yeah, there we go. Just keep shooting them. I just want these guys to get inside right now. Each man that dies relieves a little bit of stress on the CPU, so it should start to speed up eventually. This. Some vigilies are coming in, but that's okay. These guys are coming over here. As you can see, these battles take a very long time to do. Okay, let's go over here. What, what's this? Vigilies. Alright, well, they're no, no threat to us. Obviously, that tower's not shooting at it because we haven't captured it yet. Maybe we won't capture it, capture it at all. We'll, we'll see. 
Uh, put you on fire at will. If you can, yeah, you can. Shoot them. See if they can come over this way. It's sped up a little bit, I suppose, the frame rate. Maybe about like 10%. The more we kill, the faster it'll get. Let's have them keep shooting before we have to go and attack. What ideally what we should do? Uh, I really want to cut them off. I know. We won't send everyone down this way. We'll send a few of them. And when they start to get off the wall, I'll send these guys to go and capture this tower because the only way they get some of them to get to this um, area here would be through through that lane. And you get over here. You chase after it, even though I don't think that they'll catch them, even though these guys here are fresh and they're exhausted, they just... They might do it, but I doubt it. Chase after it. Okay, you come over here and just wait there. Let's get ready to run over here as soon as they start coming down off the wall. You doing it? How good they are actually killing them, it's good to see. So, what percentage are we up to now? 40%. That's pretty good. Bring four more of them down here to this point. Okay, quickly stand there because you're gonna have to deal with um, what are these? Pick a base. the wall yet. It would be good if they just stayed up on the wall, I suppose. Difficult to get these guys in formation inside of a city. It's frustrating. I think that's 312 rounds so it's done. Uh, here's number four. God damn, they're stupid. There's just no need to twirl around that many times. The formation doesn't have to be perfect, just get the fucking pikes down. That's why I try and rely as much as possible on missile um, units first. Let's see how we go from there. Okay, at least they're, they're doing a good job now, I suppose. Okay, once they're done with that, there's two full units in here. There's another one up here. So that's about three or four units in total down here. And the rest are all up on the walls. If we could somehow cut them off from the town square, that would be great. It's just getting these guys to do that is just impossible in this game. Like medieval two could be done. And this, no. Let's just speed up. The 
certainly be good if the enemy general dies. Okay, what's going on here? There must have been a guy that came over here and attacked, and this must have shot them. send their troops over this way. If possible, could you come and fill this gap here? Because they're getting around our flank a little bit. Good, they did that in good time as well. Get your pikes down and keep them out on the flanks. Good. Okay, that seems pretty solid there. We'll take a casualty every now and again, but they're going to take a hell of a lot more than we will. So what are we up to now? 50%? No. We've killed 4% since the last time I checked. Oh. Let's see, how many battalions are up on the wall? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's like half their army. If we can ensure that they don't do anything, that that's a big deal. Just need to be patient here. Don't break. Well, I guess they could possibly come back. I'm going to kill the general. Let's keep that position there because going any further, they're just it's just going to get fucked. Let's keep the fight going until they're, this is just going nowhere. That's it. Push harder against us. There's more kills for us. You'll never get through. Cover their morale so quickly as soon as they touch the, the town square. Shit. It's begun. Okay. And you guys, you've got a part to play with this as well. Cut them off. Yeah, probably not going to be able to cut anyone off the, from coming through here. Fuck it, we'll do it again. We had to wait until they started coming down or else we wouldn't be able to take this. Hopefully it should take them quite a long time to get off the... Hang on, what are they doing here? And on that time. 
So that tower will shoot at them. As soon as they get all those guys off the wall, we'll um, go after that tower. How are they going over here? It's good, bit of a meat grinder. This is what I want to focus on right here now. Okay, now if they break, they have to break through us. Don't forget their general's dead. Breaking one volley into them, and they're gone. There we go. I hope we kill them, because we're going to get shot by these towers. Wrecked there, that's perfect. Okay, tell me they're all gonna come around this way. Some of them will. Okay, last them are coming off this tower. Go go get it. Get into a real tight formation here. There's probably just a few javelins they're throwing at, throwing at us. Nothing too severe. Okay, so yeah, at least one of them's come through here. Another, another two will. But these other ones seem to be wanting to go around the other way, which is exactly what we want. They won't last long. Probably break them with one more volley. Good stuff. Then start shooting at this one. Any more coming? Yeah, there's another one. I think it's time to press the attack. Which probably means it's going to turn into a shitstorm, but... Oh well, what can you do? At least this, sec this section here went really well. Well, these are javelin men. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Makes no difference to shoot them, either way. If them trying to get through, this is going to be a pain. Might just be best just to bonsai them in. Maybe not, though. Yeah, they're both javelin men. That's fine with me. How are we going over here? Good, the, the pike formation is sort of like half pike, half shit, but whatever. And over here, they're of course acting like idiots. I 
to get your pikes down, I didn't expect them to actually do that. Oh, uh, they're going around the other way now. They're still pretending their flanks to them. Is there any chance that you might just be able to sneak through here? Come on. Surely you can. Well, I don't think that's going to work. They're sure getting their eyes handed to them there. So what are we up to now? 58%. So, after all of that, there was an additional, like, time was it 10%? Killing all those guys? Huge army. through this fucking triumphal arc. Get into the city. Of course, they only want to do that with their bloody flanks. But even then, we're only up against Vigilis, who they're actually pushing through quite well right now. What the f Fucking hell. Their reinforcement showed up. Get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there. I was wondering why bloody kill all those men. It was only an additional 10%. At least our general didn't die. Fucking shows up right behind me of all possible places. Don't really care that he took damage. Care about these two, these three. If they want to come inside, fucking let them. Actually, I'm not gonna let them, but. Instead, let me see. They want to come as if I want to want to shoot them for that. That's really irritating. You know, funny thing is, halfway through the battle, I was thinking maybe I should get these guys off the battlefield because it'll make the, the thing speed up. And I'm wishing I'd just fucking done it. Totally forgot about their reinforcements. Didn't notify me at all. You know, if it was vanilla, it would have said, "Oh, their reinforcements showed up." But nope, no notification. Now it's just surprise, motherfucker. The general nearly died. Good the, the right formation there. Apart from what happened here though, the battle's been going perfectly. Hurry up here, they don't necessarily need to get into pike formation because I want to get into their rear and really squash them. Okay, the enemy are chasing you. Which is fine, let them chase us. Past all these towers. I need you guys to hurry with them. It's a, a case where the pikes are actually doing a good job. It's rare. I think 
at this fucking lemmy. Let's hurry up with it. There's only a few of them left and we can get behind them and crush them. Do you want to shoot back at them? Be my guest. Actually, you know what? Just stay put. Don't interrupt what they're doing there. Just a couple more to go, and then you can help with this. In fact, you probably aren't needed. Get over here. Get set up. Get rid of it. It's just one man. That time, All right? Get over here. Let's do this. Get off guard mode. And just push forward. No, come on. Why do you have to converge in on in the, on the middle? It's stupid. Push forward. Fucking morons. Well, at least we're attacking them in the rear. Gotta be thankful for that. Even if we're not. Exactly in pike formation. Just get in there. If you push them out of the town square, they'll break. of them. There's not many left in this particular army, but there's still a few here. I'm going to punish these guys for what they did. They're getting their ass kicked. Out of town square so that they break. Or push them into the pikes, whichever. Just hurry up and win. Like, old, old goddamn episode is on this damn battle. But it was a, a very big and important battle. This is this has got to be one of their most important settlements. One of their most important remaining settlements, I should say. out of the town square. Okay, well with this we've taken control of the city, but we, it's not going to win us a battle right away because of these guys here. Tower here is going to do a lot of damage. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the uh, Sarth Chariots over here to see if they might break. Just 
pretty damn tired. Close to those towers, though. Let's see if break. Nope. This is sort of silly to do this. You can only do it against weakened battalions. Still want to finish them off, though. Even though it says 95%, I don't think we've destroyed 85% of this particular force yet. So they're steady, shaken. Because they're close to their general, they might not break them. Bit of patience, they're sure to break. See if we can break this Go for the go for the general because um, he's got less men in them. Okay, good. Now kill the enemy general. I want every last one of them dead. Stupid thing. I wish I could turn those towers off. Okay, fuck it. We got 85% of them. Okay, well, apart from what happened to the cavalry, that went really well. But that's a 10 to 1 kill ratio. We killed 5,000 men. They're going to be reeling from that for a good long while. And we've reduced their ability to uh, to recruit new troops. Because I reckon, like, quite a few of the armies we're fighting came from here. Get the public orders under control. That'll need to go. Just out of curiosity, what do we... Go, we can train the Celtic Levy, uh, Lesser King here, but... Eh, we've, we've already got a uh, level 2 one that we can use. So get rid of that. Okay, that one. Well then, there's still a lot of Romans in the area, but... I don't know, we'll figure something out. Okay, he probably needs a rest. Confined to bed. What are you used to shit? Yes, Stratego. My lord, my lord, sir. My lord, sir. Okay, I need to get this guy to Massalia, essentially. Public order here is alright. Well, what if we got him to Patavium, look after that, and got him moving elsewhere? He's losing command points. Well, whatever, yes, just, just get them over here. Move, Thing is, with this here, it's not really an active force. He needs his reinforcements. And that's just going to take time. Yes, 
shit. These guys here, they could be retrained in Capua. Can't go out in the open waters. Not during the end turn. That would get us killed. Ready. Ready to sail. Okay, these guys can just get dropped off inside us. But the pikes need to go all the way to bloody Antioch. Look at them, they sent these ships all the way over here to bloody annoy me. Stupid Romans. Got half a mind to recruit a, you know, a big ship to go kill them. But then again, that would cost money. Sir. Yes, you should just come over here March. and rest Air for the turn. Because it's winter. We'll get over there next time. Alright, with that we'll end the video there. Actually, no, um, let's build a few things and then we'll end the video. Just want to get rid of that. I'm gonna give that another shot. Good. Uh, hard to tell if that actually increased income or not. Because he went in there and it did seem to increase by a lot. Like, it wouldn't... Yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, so there's only six buildings left that need to be done here. I guess go with the gymnasium. Because it's not that expensive. Actually, what we should do is... Go to the regions that have the lowest public order. Make sure they're building something. Okay, RP has issues. Okay, Araminum. What are we going to do here? Temple of Apollo. No, that's not good. The thing is, building the very large market will replace this. I mean, it will take 14 turns, but... I mean, we could just... If we could just maintain the public order in the meantime by just sending... Yeah, see, that'll, that'll keep it under control. For the time being, at least. would like to build that at some point, but it's very expensive. It would only give us an extra 200 and something per turn. Take a very long time to make a profit off that, though. Cheap shit. And settlements that don't really need anything right now. stuff to build, we just don't have the money for it. Don't have enough. God, running out big time. Okay, Terras has issues. Oh no, that's okay, I know what the problems are, that's fine. Always managed to build in all the settlements. How much are we making per turn? 78,000. That's pretty good. Alright, well, that's the end of this episode, guys. So, like and subscribe. Part 106 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.